All right, guys, I'm using magnesium salad first test kit. So it comes with um, two solutions, a pipette. And before this, I was using the Red Sea kit and I didn't like it. It took a lot of steps and this one is pretty quick. You could get it done in under a minute. So I really like this kit. So I'm going to show you how I um, test my magnesium and then raise it. So first, I took a sample of my tank water, 2 mLs. And I always take the air bubbles out of the, the syringe by um, pumping it a few times in, under the water so all the air bubbles are out. Then 5 drops of uh, the first solution, which is five, 5 drops. Then you swirl it for 5 seconds. And it comes with this syringe with the, the tip. So now I'm going to fill it up to the 1.0 ml mark of the MG2 solution. Now we just uh, drop that solution in there slowly until it changes from pink to um, a grayish blue. And whatever's left over in there, there's a chart that you measure against it and that's how you get your reading. There's a blue color, very easy to spot. So I had about 0 0.12. So that gives me a reading of 1320. It was actually a little bit less than that because I did add a one extra drop. So I think it was closer to 1300 parts per million on the magnesium. So here I am on the magnesium uh, BRS calculator. So I got this magnesium chloride. In the past, I would mix magnesium sulfate, but I haven't used magnesium in three years. So I thought this would be enough. And based on my research, you can still use magnesium chloride to boost your magnesium. So according to the chart, it says I need about 1,577 1, milligrams, sorry, 1,577 grams of uh, dry magnesium chloride to raise my magnesium. Um, 100 parts per million. So I wanted to get it to about 1400 parts per million. So if you don't have a scale, you could use a measuring cup and mix it with a gallon of water. I figured since I'm trying to increase it to a certain specific level that I would just go ahead and do it like this. I haven't used magnesium in my tank yet and I haven't used it because in the past my magnesium, magnesium was always 1400 parts per million or above. The reason is I was using Fritz salt and that was always high magnesium. Now I'm using instant ocean and I know instant ocean is always low on magnesium. So I was, I was a little concerned my magnesium was low. So I definitely wanted to test it out and I was right. It was low. The one thing I noticed is over time, mag the, the coralline algae in my tank was, uh, wasn't growing as fast as it used to. So I used about half of the tub. This was $15. I was going to do a do-it-yourself one with Epsom salt, but I just, I just didn't know if that was the way to go because I heard there'll be too much sulfate buildup. So I wanted to play it safe because um, after I get my magnesium boosted up, I probably won't have to boost it for like at least six months. But I definitely want to see how my tank looks after I boost it. Um, but after I did add this solution, I noticed better polyp extension on a few of my acros. Like it was almost instantaneous. I could see there was some improvements. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad I did this. So I just got like a gallon of water in a bucket, RODI water, of course, mix all the solution in there. It, it almost dissolved, it dissolved instantaneously. Correct. So I recommend this, especially if you're not doing water changes frequently. Like I haven't done one in four months. And I don't want to boost my magnesium like in one shot, especially because I'm raising it so much. So I just went ahead and filled a gallon jug that I used for magnesium in the past. And I dosed about half of it. And then I went ahead and tested my uh, magnesium again after six hours and it was about 1350. 
So I knew my solution was fine and it was as per the calculations on BRS website. So I went ahead and dosed another third of it. And right now I have about one more third that I'm gonna dose later on today. And then I should be at 1400 parts per million. And this is a really easy solution to do. I mean, you don't have to do it like every month or continuously. I think magnesium should stay boosted for a while as long as your salinity is in line. You know, when your salinity drops, then your magnesium drops and along with the other parameters. But I've noticed magnesium drops a lot when your salinity is off course. So hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.